and glass like oh so cute right i know i didn't plan on doing coasters and trays because like everybody does them and we use those and i just i can't like i can't with the process anymore i really appreciate if you share this video share my my website share my art just share sharing is caring okay Hello you guys, my name is Brishan B from Artistry of BB. I've had my shop open for two months now and I've officially made three sales. I'm super super excited. I have sold a few paintings to like family members and friends outside of that. I first tried acrylic pour painting back in March when the whole shutdown happened and since then I knew that this was something that I wanted to do. I got laid off from my job two months ago and it kind of left me in a place where I have no choice but to bet on myself. I've been wanting to do my own thing for a while now and now I have the time and the chance to do so. I have a few notes about resin that I want to get into before I get into all of the products that I hauled. I first started out with Pro Marine Table of Epoxy Resin and for two gallons it's $120 but I bought it on sale for $101 with a coupon and that's for two gallons. Second, they came out with the Pro Marine Art Resin and they were selling it for 15% off to try it out. So I bought one gallon for $68 and that's after a 15% off discount. I just finished my Table Epoxy Resin by Pro Marines and I am glad to be done with it. To be honest, I didn't have the greatest experience with it. I'm hoping that the art, their art line is a lot better. Since I just finished my two gallons, I was looking into art resin. They have a two gallon for $189. And then lately I've been seeing Full Rizzle on Instagram and they promote how they are a healthier, if not the healthiest resin out there. Their ingredients don't include like four main ingredients that are like hormone and endocrine disruptors and things like that. Chemicals that will really just F up your system. <laughs> People have been having a lot of health issues and I've noticed some things from just not wearing a mask, not wearing eye protection, eyes feeling dry, irritated, burning, and skin burns because of resin that I didn't see or didn't clean well. Yeah, I just have to be better at wearing full body gear when I'm using resin and also protecting my respiratory system and my organs and yeah just being safe period. So because Full Rizzle was having a sale there are two gallons that is originally $210 was on sale for 20% off for $168 for a healthier resin. It is going to be a little bit more expensive because you are getting a healthier choice so just like with organic foods you know healthier the more quality the better things in life are a little bit more expensive so yeah i don't mind that as especially when it comes to like it being health reasons um i was willing to pay a little bit more but i'm glad that i was able to get it for a sale in addition to that because resin can be really fickle I got a scale so I can be more precise with my measurements. I also got a chemical respirator mask and this one came with the filters. A lot of masks on Amazon, it'll just be the mask and it doesn't come with the filters. But yeah, this one comes with filters and everything. So yeah, really happy about that. I got your typical safety glasses. To protect my eyes i have bought some resin coasters some geode resin coasters this set came with five and they're all a little bit different some with holes in the middle and some without it also came with these fingertip little thingy things so um, I wouldn't recommend just like relying on this when you're dealing with resin. I mean, when you're using coasters, I guess you're really not playing around too much with the resin. You're just like mixing it and pouring it. But especially with like larger paintings, I love to do 24 by 48 canvases. And I always end up with resin like on my thigh, on my arm, like I need to wear better clothing, protective clothing. I want to make sure that I'm wearing gloves for that. But because I do mixed media acrylic art pours, um, after I do the acrylic pour, I lay resin down and then I add crushed glass. So crush, crushed glass, broken glass, fire glass, and it'll be a lot easier to grip the glass and like re realign and correct and move around 
and be just more meticulous with my placement with these on my fingers opposed to those big rubber gloves where I can like barely even grip the glass and rearrange things. So I'm just planning on using this for that step and that'll be just like a lifesaver and I'm just hoping I don't accidentally get resin everywhere. But it also came with popsicle sticks which I'm so so very grateful for because the dollar store has been sold out of them for like the past month and yeah I don't have much else to start with but I also because I want to get better with my measurements and the plastic measuring cups from the dollar store just weren't holding up to that great I would let them dry and peel them out but then sometimes it had sticky spots which lets me know either I had I didn't have equal amounts of resin to begin with or I just didn't stir well enough to incorporate all the resin at the bottom so there would be sticky spots and then I would still try to like reuse those or like clean it out as best I can and reuse those and I just I can't like I can't with the process anymore so I finally got me some proper silicone measuring cups this set came with this silicone like um little mat or whatever like working mat and it has these plastic little what are they oh they're not plastic or silicone too yay so like if you want different colors why are you stuck okay okay so they come like this and you can use like for different colors so you can pour into like the mold you know you know ah oh, so cute so yeah and this also comes with those little finger nub things so i'm glad i have quite a few of those also came with these pipettes which i don't know what i'm really going to use them for but it also came with these stirring sticks too so these are reusable we love reusable I also bought a tray mold, which looks okay. It kind of has a scratch right there. It's just maybe a little dirty and I just need to like clean it. But this is what it looks like. Super cute, perfect to go with, you know, the coasters. I didn't plan on doing coasters and trays because I'm like, everybody does them, but I had a friend like ask me about them before and I was like, you know what, like why not? I want to add a product to my shop that people don't have to think twice about or people don't have to question or people feel more comfortable spending. I just want to provide something that's within a different price range that I can probably sell a lot faster and sell to more people that actually follow me now and still build traction and gain people that will actually want to buy my art for what it's worth. And um, that tray came with these handles, super cute, and they're super like, they have a nice weight to them. I love things that have like a nice weight to them. I wanted to get a set of these, but I was too busy comparing and contrasting a lot of different vendors on Amazon. And they ended up selling out of the ha individual handles. So I will get more of those in the future, but not all of the trays have to have handles because I do believe you can use it as like a centerpiece for like a, to put a vase on or like flowers on, you know, or just for like candles and jewelry. So there's many, there's many purposes and not all trays have handles. So I will have like, you know, the option, but yeah, I'm just gonna do like a few, like a little test run to see how my people thus far will like the product. I definitely do want it to be something like permanent in the future and I do wanna make more, but I'm just gonna start with what I can produce now. So I ended up buying these molds for another project that I was planning to do, but I just didn't wanna bite off more than I can chew. These are some rolls silicone molds that are so cute. They're so cute. I can't wait. And they're like really tiny. Like these. Oh, this one has an extra. Oh, these are cute. I didn't see this on the site. I think they gave this to me for free. These are so cute. So I had these in mind for a different project, but I figured, hey, I could still use these for my paintings. And even for like the tray, like a tray, I can add like little roses, little flowers, like 3D flowers, like around the handles or around the edges, you know, just to add a little 
you know, je ne sais quoi. And on my paintings, because my paintings are already 3D because they have gl broken glass on them. So I was just imagining like little resin, resin roses and glass, like, oh, so cute, right? I know. So I'm excited to play with those. And oh, it's so cute. And then I also bought some mica. So this set of 50 was $19 or $20. It's like $19.99 on Amazon. I was debating on getting Arteza's mica powder. So we got like a set of 60, but it was like a set of 60 for like $36, $38, somewhere around that. Pretty much almost twice as much as this. And it was a little bit more of each color. So you are definitely getting more product, but just for like my budget right now, we good with this. And also, there's so many different colors. I'm a very neutral, natural, metallics, greens, browns, you know, person. I like colors, just aesthetically for me, like it's not for me, you know, but that's not the case for everybody and i have to get out of like creating for myself and when i do a lot of projects that are like just out there colors or just like different combinations and i get outside my comfort zone people really really love those so i'm excited to like mess around with these so outside of this things that are on their way i have 36 by 36 canvases a pack of six from michael's i ordered those with my acrylic inks I got these two acrylic inks from Michael. These ended up being 20% off with their coupon that is like always active on their site. I got light gold and silver. Whatever, you get the idea. For the most part, like the things that I bought are budget friendly and um, the reviews pretty much are some of the best compared to their counterparts. That's it, I just wanted to share those tips. Um, be safe, if you're working with resin, please get a mask, please get goggles. Like, goggles are necessary. You can't see the fumes and you might not feel it or you might not think whatever's wrong with your eyes is coming from that, but it's coming from that. It's just best to be safe than sorry. So protect your eyes, protect your nose, protect your mouth, protect your skin. And yeah, have fun creating. I hope this helped. If you have any questions or concerns, Feel free to let me know. I will be posting some videos of the artwork that I've done thus far. I know I haven't really posted, like the videos that are on my channel now are from like way, way, way back when, when I still had a job and I was just playing around and trying to figure out, you know, if I'm gonna do this for real, for real, but then, you know, I got laid off and then things got real and yeah. So I would really appreciate if you share this video, share my, my website, share my art just share sharing is caring okay i love you guys and i will see you guys in my next video peace